Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Marco's Hiking. Uh, on this particular video, I'm gonna do something just a little bit different. Um, like five or six weeks ago, I posted on my community page of the YouTube channel um, to put uh, your favorite outdoors or hiking or backpacking quote on there. And then I would respond to those or give my reaction to those. Um, I don't know about you, but I, I find reaction videos kind of fun. Um, uh, especially with music and I thought you know what maybe I'll respond to people's favorite outdoors quotes uh, or quotes that impact them and so I've, I've seen these quotes but I have not really stopped and looked at them and reflected on them in any way so this is pretty raw um, and it's it's been a couple weeks since I've looked at this I promised well I didn't promise but I said I'd put this video out about two weeks ago and I just haven't, I was uh, away from home for a solid week, it's just been really busy. Um, so I actually haven't looked at these quotes for probably two to three weeks. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of them, there were quite a few posted, which is really cool. Um, uh, I'll probably include some more of these maybe at the end of other videos. I'll make those kind of like a, an end cap to my videos, if you will, a bookend. But I, I want to go through maybe four or five of these just from a, a, a response or reaction and just see what happens. Um, so, so come along with the journey or come along on the journey. Um, I'm not doing too well so far. I'm, I'm mixing up my metaphors, I think. Um, so let's start off with, uh, we'll start off with one from Mike Ghost and, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, he's messing around with me here. There once was a man from Nantucket. Oh, wait, sorry, wrong kind of, wrong kind of quote. My bad, Mark. Um, all right, well, let's finish that. There once was a man from Nantucket. Um, while he was hiking, he'd rather poop in a bucket. Yeah, that works. I, I like that. Okay, thanks, Mike. That was a great contribution, and I'm glad I could finish that one for you. Um, <laughs> Uh, cool quest what the heck you're like ooh, I like this I'll get back to you with a quote you haven't got back to me so Johnny and Colleen <clears throat> um, <laughs> you better post a quote um, I'm looking forward to that but I'll, I'll respond to this it says hope you're well let's get a beer soon uh, yes I'll be reaching out to you in the next week and let's see if we can't get something scheduled because we've known of each other for maybe two years and we live 45 minutes away from each other and we've never got together, so that's just stupid, right? Um, so I'll get a hold of you in the next week and we'll get something set up. Um, this was actually the first one that was posted and this is from John Hodson. I believe this is my cousin, John Hodson, so thanks for stalking me on YouTube. Um, it says this, Here, here's one from a podcast that I've been listening to. So first of all, before we even get to the quote, I love podcasts. Podcasts are probably the coolest thing um, on the interwebs. Uh, I, when I drive, I really don't like to listen to music, and um, I like to listen to podcasts or just really be quiet. Sometimes when I'm on my own, I'll rock out pretty good, but the podcasts that I like to listen to the most are um, The Art of Manliness, uh, Pints, with, uh, Pints with Aquinas, man, words are hard today, and um, New Polity. Those are the three podcasts I listen to the most, so I, I don't know, encourage you to check them out. But this is a really cool quote. It says, it's not ours, it's just our turn regarding public lands and animal conservation. It's not ours, it's just our turn. I think this is a great quote. Um, and there's so many depths of meaning to this. Um, just from a being out in the woods, uh, hiking, hunting, um, even there's lots of religious meaning to this. And, but I, I instantly think of LNT, right? Leave no trace. Um, and if the thing that's coming to me right now with this from a reaction standpoint is oftentimes when we're out in the outdoors and maybe we are thinking or are tempted to break one of the LNT principles, we maybe have the thought that comes to us that is, well, it's just me. It, it, it's just one apple peel. Uh, it's just one orange peel. Um, it's just one toilet paper tulip, right? Um, sure, even that, but, but think of how many other people use that trail and if everybody had that thought, right, you'd have many TP tulips uh, that you see. Because everybody thought, well, it's just me, it's just one person, what's it gonna hurt? Um, it's not ours, it's just our turn. 
I, I really like that. I think that's a really good way to approach um, almost anything, to be honest with you. Uh, but that's where my head first went. So thanks, John. I really appreciate that. Let's go through another one. Uh, S.A. from N.C. He put two down here. I'm going to respond to the first one that I see here, and then we'll do the other one on, on another video. Um, a quote from every dad ever taking their kids on a hike. Uh, I would say this is probably a quote from everybody who's ever been, anybody who's ever been on a hike. We're almost there. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. And then there's that one more pud that you forgot about. There's that one more stretch. There's the, uh, that one more cross, river crossing that you forgot about, right? I, I think we've all said that to people that we're showing trails to. Like, we're almost there. And you say that for like an hour and a half. Um, oh my gosh, it's so true. Um, oh, your other one is from Tolkien. I, I will respond to that one on a later video because that is completely misused by everyone in the outdoor world. Uh, so there's your teaser for the next one. Um, As the Crow Flies Hiking, let's move to you. Uh, this is by uh, Tom Hiddleston. I have no idea who that is, Crow. Um, uh, but the quote's looking kind of cool. You never know what's around the corner. It could be everything. Or it could be nothing. You keep putting one foot in front of the other and then one day you look back and you've climbed a mountain and that's a really cool quote on so many levels it makes me think in instantly of uh, mother goose the nursery rhymes um i hope some of you know this uh seesaw sakara down which is the way to london town one foot up the other foot down that is the way to london town you know or, or maybe the other ad, uh, old adage of what what's the um uh how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time uh, I think no matter what's going on in life, whether it's you're just out on a backpacking trip and it's really challenging, well, how do you get through it? You just one foot after another. You don't know what's coming. You don't know what to expect, but you just keep moving forward. And then pretty soon you look back and bam, you climb that mountain. Um, uh, yeah, you don't know what's around the corner. I, I think uh, on a deeper level, what's hitting me here is um, we need to, so I'm a man of faith. Um, we need to follow what is true, what is good, and what is beautiful. Because what is good and what is what is truly good and beautiful is is true. Uh, so we need to follow. Those are also called the transcendentals. Uh, what is good, true, and beautiful. And if we follow those, we don't always know what's around the corner. It could be everything. It could be nothing. It could be scary. It could be lots of rewards. Either way, no matter what, if we keep moving forward toward that which is true, good, and beautiful one day you'll look back and realize that you climbed a mountain you had a good life right um good quote crow thanks let's let's do one more um well this this kind of follows the same pattern uh this is by andy rooney this is kind of cool he was the 60 minutes guy right andy rooney um he also was if that's him i think it is i, I should know this but he was in a movie um long way back when he was i think a kid or probably in his young 20s but called boys town and he was kind of the badass, uh, smart-ass kid uh, in that movie. Uh, this is from Trek Medic or Trek Medic, and it says, uh, "Everyone wants to live on top of the mountain, but all the happiness and growth occurs while you are climbing it." Oh, that's really good. Uh, that also makes me think of um, an interview I was watching by Jocko Willink once. Um, he's got a, a book and a whole leadership program called Extreme Ownership. Uh, I enjoy listening to him from time to time. And he was telling this story about one of these training evolutions they had to do, and they had to just carry this rock up this mountain. And, you know, you, you might be thinking, oh my gosh, when when we get to the top of the mountain, we're done. You know, the point of this evolution, this exercise is to get to the top of the mountain, but it wasn't. The whole point of the evolution was simply carry the rock up the mountain. Just carry the rock. Just keep carrying it. That That was it. And in that, you'll get stronger, you'll build that mental and physical resilience. And I think there's just so much of that here. Um, we always want to get to the end. We always want to get to the goal. Um, but we don't. But what happens when you get there? Whatever your goal is in life or whatever your goal is right now, what do you do when you get there? Is it probably need to do the next challenge or take on the next responsibility within that goal? Um, and so really, we're, we're always climbing the mountain. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go, I'll go this way here too. I'm going to go a little bit deeper again, man of faith. You can both be there and be climbing at the same time. You can have your relationship with the Lord and still be 
growing that relationship at the same time. So no matter what your goal is, if you've arrived, there's still more work to be done, right? There's still, you can't just leave it. It's not just a box you check in life. And I think that's probably the way with most goals worth shooting for. Um, now, if you're taking on like a, a challenge hike or um, doing something really challenging outdoors, yeah, there is a goal, but the goal is cool. That is the whipped cream and the cherry on top. Um, but the, uh, the growth happens on that journey, right? Um, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. I'll end it off that quote with my own that I, I heard from, um, uh, it was the, they are remaking, or PBS is remaking the series All Creatures Great and Small based off the James Harriet uh, stories. It was originally done, I think, back in the late 70s. Um, BBC did it. Phenomenal. The, the original is better, but the new one is really good. And Mrs. Hall, she's the caretaker of the home, and um, she has this great quote that she says to either James Harriet or to uh, Tristan Farnan. And she said, "It's not the mountain we climb, but our. It's not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves. It's not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves." What a great lesson for us uh, in the outdoors. Um, it's not the trail we're trying to conquer. It's not this loop we're trying to do, this through hike. It's really ourselves that we need to conquer. Um, well, I'll end it there. There's some more quotes here. I think maybe I'll integrate those at the end of some of my videos, or maybe in a few weeks I'll do another one of these. This is kind of fun. This is something a little bit different. Uh, I'm just out on a day hike, out in the woods near my house, um, hanging out on my uh, ENO. Uh, jungle nest hammock it's phenomenal it has a screen that's pulled back I think you can see it um, hope you enjoyed this video uh, what's your favorite outdoor quote uh, what's your favorite quote about backpacking or the outdoors or any, anything like that leave that in the comments below don't forget to like the video and please consider I can't talk <laughs> and please consider subscribing to the channel thanks for viewing have a great day we'll talk to you soon